<clears throat> What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Workshop Weekly. This is episode two. The date is January 12th, 2020. 2020. So I uh, got a lot to cover in this episode. Uh, we got a lot of news. We got a lot of deals. Uh, so let's get started right off the bat with some tool news. Uh, last week I posted Milwaukee's going to release an M12 die grinder. Uh, well, interesting enough, a couple influencers on Instagram, uh, they posted that. Milwaukee asked them to take it down, and it was removed from the Home Depot site. Um, so I'm not quite sure what's going on with there. The tool will probably still be coming out as if you look in the manual <coughs> on the right angle die grinder. Um, it's it's in there, so it's coming. It's just a matter of time. They just haven't given the official press release on that. Uh, so in regards to official press releases, uh, Milwaukee has unleashed a couple new tools this week. Uh, we have the Milwaukee Deep Packout, um, but it's only the half width. So let's say this is your full packout. It's only this wide. So it's a cool new storage option. Uh, they show like PVC uh, connections and stuff in there. Uh, a lot of different uses that you can do. Uh, with a box like that. Just another storage option in their continuing line of growing pack out. Also, they have a heated lunch box. Um, not quite sure how official that was. Those were pictures released on Facebook, but if you work in like a deep Arctic tundra, uh, that would be a great place to have a heated lunch box unless you want something to be kept cold. So, not quite sure with that. Uh, so moving on forward, um, overseas, Hikoki, um, which is actually what we call Metabo HPT. Uh, they have a 36 volt, 300 millimeter chainsaw. Uh, so that would be like 14 to 16 inch chainsaw. Uh, so that might be coming over here uh, sometime this year maybe. We're not too sure with that. Um, but cool for Metabo HPT users with their multi-volt platform. Uh, DeWalt, you're going to be seeing a lot of DeWalt um, on Instagram. Uh, they have a folding trimmer uh, in their 20-volt line. Model on that is DCT, DCST922. Uh, they sent it out to quite a few people already, but it's going to hit the market in spring of this year. Uh, I think I saw that pricing was going to be for $200 with a 5.0 battery. Um, it's a nice looking trimmer. Um, not quite sure for performance yet as I haven't really seen much on it. Uh, but it's going to be nice for people who are looking for a folding option. It's going to store pretty compact. Um, Hilti users, if you're in their 12-volt lineup, uh, they have released a multi-head drill. So it's going to be like the Bosch FlexiClick or the Milwaukee Insulation Driver, um, where it's actually going to have multiple heads that can fit out of that right angle offset, uh, quick connects, and such forth. Uh, no pricing on that as of yet. Um, the tool was just announced. Also, Woodpeckers has a new one-time tool. Uh, it's a corner planer uh, for rounding over edges by hand. Uh, to get yours, you need to reserve it by uh, the 27th of this month. So that's all I have for you guys in tool news. Um, like I said, it's pretty interesting with that Milwaukee die grinder. So uh, hopefully, I'm kind of excited for that one. Hopefully, we'll see that sooner than later. Uh, so new tools in the shop that we're going to have coming up uh, in the next couple weeks. Um, for Christmas, I got these channel lock pick sets. I posted on these on my Instagram channel. Uh, they're USA made. They have the acetate handle. Uh, pretty cool. They're around 10 bucks on Amazon. Um, you know, I always tend to break the tips off really bad on the cheap Chinese sets. So uh, as I get a little more use on them, I'll report back and we'll see how they hold up. You also see this big massive battery sitting here. Uh, yes, this is the 5 amp hour, 48 volt battery for the skill saw cordless worm drive that's sitting over there. Um, so get on Instagram and be on the lookout as I start using this and some projects and whatnot. I'll report back, uh, of course, on how this is going to be doing. Um, it's made by Shervon, which also does Ego. So nice they got a, this battery just huge, huge battery. Uh, but we'll get into that eventually anyways. Um, Project-wise, uh, last week I reported on this mallet. I did finally finish this. Um, I did use Odie's oil. If you've never used Odie's oil, you definitely want to check it out. This is the Odie's Dark. I bought mine on Toolnut. Uh, this, they have the jars. It's, it's an all-natural uh, wood oil. Very, very nice on the nose. I love the smell of this. Uh, it's a very thick oil. Definitely gets buffed into the wood. 
Um, you let it sit on there for 15, 20 minutes and then you buff the excess off. Uh, it leaves a really nice finish. It's not overly shiny, but it protects the wood. Uh, it doesn't get too hard on there either, but it just does a really nice job of uh, showing the natural beauty of the wood. So uh, you could use this for tabletops. You could use this for all sorts of different things. Um, they have quite a different range of products, but I've only ever really used either the original Odie's oil or the dark oil. A couple other things I'm going to be working on. Um, I have some frames that I'm going to be working on for some oil paintings and such for it, just some custom frame jobs. Uh, I'm going to be experimenting with uh, charring wood and playing with some stain colors with that, so I'll be on the lookout for that as well. Also, I have a new Graco spray gun. Uh, the model on that is the True Coat 360DS dual speed. It's kind of middle of the road of the plug-in line. It's not a full-on. It was about $200 at Lowe's. Uh, so it's not the full-on cordless one. But um, I was looking to replace the HVLPs that I had. Uh, so they weren't doing too good. So we're going to be giving that one a go, and we'll see how I like it. So um, this week's guest is PNW Tool off of Instagram. His name is Micah, and he's got the tool of the week for you. Take it away, hey guys. This is Micah with Pacific Northwest Tool showing you my tool of the week. So let's check it out. Without further ado, we got the DCS 571, four and a half inch uh, circular saw. This guy is a beast. Tons and tons of power on this little guy. Um, really easily controlled as well with one hand. You got dust port on there. Got a nice uh, small shoe on there. Um, definitely get in there a lot better than uh, some other saws as far as the shoe size, which is nice. Uh, dust port comes right off. Goes on like that. It's got the uh, the quick connect um, for the DeWalt hoses. Um, this guy is awesome. Got a built-in tool here for blade changes. Also with the Phillips on one end and then hex on the other. Um, this is a 20 volt tool, but uh, again, we'll take the 60 volt max batteries. Um, you can run this one-handed or two-handed if you want. It comes with the fence guide here, um, in like so. Hard to do that one-handed, but uh, yeah, then you can run it. This is uh, definitely proven to be an awesome tool in the arsenal. Um, it doesn't replace all the saws, but uh, it definitely has its purpose. Um, definitely uh, able to get into tight spots that you can't with the other saws. And definitely holds its own with power. Um, also, it's got a belt clip, which is kind of nice with a small saw like this. Um, thanks, Jim, for uh, letting me show off one of my tools. Thanks. All right, thanks, Mike, for showing that off this week. Uh, make sure to get over to Instagram and give him a follow. Uh, he's got some cool stuff that he does on Instagram. Uh, definitely a cool guy. So let's get into the final segment of this show. I got a lot of deals for you guys this week. Uh, some are off the walls. Some are uh, Some are pretty good. So first of all, uh, Menards, one of my favorite box stores. Uh, once or twice a year, they have a really good sale. It's a, it's, it's, we call it the bag sale. You get a paper sack, and anything that fits in the bag, you get 15% off. So uh, it's going on for this week, so make sure you head over to Menards if you have one in your town. Stock up on whatever. It's a good price. Home Depot's got a lot of good deals going on online and in some stores. Uh, they have a 200-piece Husky socket set for only $59.99. It's pretty comprehensive until you get to the half inch. I think they don't have, the only one they don't have, it's, I think it's a 12-point deep half inch sockets. I think that's the only set that they don't have, but they cover everything else from quarter inch to three. It's a half inch in both shallow, deep, metric, and SAE. 
So it's a pretty comprehensive set if you need an extra set or a beater set. Um, in store only, I haven't found it online, but they have some battery promos going on. Uh, it's a two pack of batteries, a 3.0 and a 6.0 in both M12 and M18. The M12 is $99 and the M18 is $149. Uh, they also online, they have an M12 fuel combo kit. Uh, that's the drill and the impact driver, but it comes in a pack out kit for $199. Also, they have an M12 Pro Press, Pro Press tool with a, pre, a free PVC shear. Wow, that's really a tongue twister. A Pro Press tool with a free PVC shear for $399. So if you're a plumber, uh, it's a great tool to have. Great, great kit right there for $400. Bucks. Amazon's got some good deals going on on Makita subcompact tools. Uh, they have the Recip saw for $103, and they also have the subcompact 6.5 inch circular saw for $127. Those are both bare tools. Uh, now, if you're a fan of skill, not skill saw, it's been separated. Um, so there's skill power tools and there's skill saw. Skill, um, they have some deals going on on Amazon, really cheap for some of their 12 volt tools. So I'm going to run through those real quick. Uh, they have just the 12 volt brushless drill for $57. That's a kit with, I think, a 2 volt battery. Uh, you can get the combo with the impact on there. The combo's got a really nice 3 LED ring on there for $100. Uh, the Recip kit is a, like the hacksaw style, one handed. It's $57 uh, with the 2 volt battery. Uh, 5 and 3 8 inch circular saw, $75. Uh, you get a 4 volt battery with that. And they also have the OMT, the Oscillating Multi-Tool. Um, I believe that was $75 as well. Not bad if you're you know, a homeowner or you're looking for some light-duty tools. Uh, cool thing with their batteries, their power core batteries, is they got a built-in USB charger, so you don't need the uh, adapter hub on top to charge your phones off of that. Pretty cool. And then uh, Metabo has a 12-volt multi-head drill kit for $93. This is not the new Power Max series. Um, it's their older brush tools, but that's pretty cheap. Uh, I think you get the older 2.0 batteries on there. Um, so if you're looking for something like that, it's a really good deal. Last but not least, on Woot. Woot is a subsidiary of Amazon. It's a deal site. Uh, they have a 20-volt skill drill kit for $59.99. So pretty good. Um, like I said, uh, there's a lot of month-long promos uh, going on with Milwaukee promo batteries, 6.0s and 8. 6.0 M12s and 8.0 M18s, as I covered last week. Uh, so your retailers uh, like Acme, uh, Toolup, uh, Toolburn, uh, Shopmax, all those guys, they run a lot of the company set promos. So uh, as I find more good, consistent deals, I'll post them to this channel for daily stuff price fluctuations, make sure to head over to Instagram. So that's all I got for you guys today on episode two of Workshop Weekly. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure to like and subscribe and uh, give me a follow on Instagram. So have a good one, guys. Have a good week.